What's up, YouTube? What's up, Rumble? This is some footage from last year of the maiden voyage of my Slayer Max 12.5. Some of you may have noticed that prior to this, I was using a Vibe Shearwater with a Hobie Mirage Drive 180. And while the 180 drive was great, there were some aspects of the Shearwater that simply drove me nuts. The biggest one was the rudder. It would pick up 100 pounds of weeds that the 180 drive chopped up, and the kayak would slow down to a crawl. The other two issues were the front rails were too far forward and you couldn't reach them when using the pedal drive. And the rear tank well would fill up with water and not drain out the scupper holes, which was super annoying. Keep watching and I'll comment in the video on how the Slayer Max did and point out some common issues with it that work themselves out or are easy to fix. After leaving the launch, I ran into some friendly duck hunters. They slowed down and the small wake was no problem for the Slayer Max. First fish of the day. What do we got? Nice bass. There we go, folks. First fish of the day and first fish in the new Slayer Max 12.5 from Native. Okay, I'm going to let him go. Not sure if you heard that or not, but the seat creaks and it's easily fixed by putting tape around the metal frame where the webbing rubs up against the smooth metal. They could fix it uh, in the factory by using a texture paint and maybe they'll do that someday, but for now, that's the fix. Barely hooked. Here we go, folks. First decent bass on the new boat. Not too bad. This is right, what time is it? About 2.30, this one hit at 2.30. Let's see how big. Lost it. one's 15. 15 inch largemouth. It's not too bad. I really didn't find a lot wrong with the Slayer Max. The only issue that I had was the, the drive was kind of loud and grindy. But I later found out that there's a 25 hour break in period. And since then, it's been about four months, it's a lot quieter and smoother. So that's not really an issue. Just keep that in mind if you get one of these, that the drive is likely to be a little noisy at first. Pike. Better sized one.
There we go, folks. That's not a bad one. It's 25 inches. 25 inch pike. Well, that's it for this episode. Overall, the Slayer Max was a huge improvement over the Shearwater. The Slayer's rudder is protected by the keel, and the whole steering system is far superior. One thing to keep in mind is the propel drive does not do as well in weeds as a Hobie fin drive. It also does not go as shallow, but it does have a couple of advantages, such as instant reverse and being pretty much bulletproof. Thanks for watching Bassman Strikes Kayak Fishing. If you like this video, please click the subscribe and like buttons. If you'd like to be notified of new content, click the bell button. If you have any questions about lures, equipment, etc., please leave a comment. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook page and join our group Black Bass Central. Links will be in the description. We'll see you next time.